Welcome or welcome back to the channel guys. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing and today we're talking about five reasons you should buy the Lawrence Hook Reveal and three reasons that you probably shouldn't. If you guys already haven't subscribed or smashed that notification bell right now is a great time because the channel is growing. I do fishing technology videos, I do fishing tutorials, I do technology tutorials, anything and everything to do with fishing on this channel. So make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Now let's start talking about the five reasons you should buy a hook reveal. The first reason you should buy a hook reveal is for one feature, the fish reveal feature. I've used this feature many a times on the Elite TI series uh, and it helps me identify fish that aren't always clear that they're fish. I'm just gonna throw an image of fish reveal up here real quick. So it is a 2D sonar view overlaid on top of your down scan image. So you can see the difference between what's fish and what is not fish and how those fish relate to the structure. So it's an extremely useful tool to find and identify fish even when it's not that easy. So one of the things that makes Fish Reveal great is that the cone for the 2D sonar is much larger than that for the down scan. So you're gonna get a really great image of what your down scan imaging is catching, but you're not always gonna catch all those fish in that picture. So that since the 2D sonar is larger in its cone size, you're gonna be able to see more fish relate to that one piece of structure than you typically would on a simple down scan. Another reason that fish reveal is one of the reasons you should buy a hook reveal is that it eliminates a lot of the noise from your 2D sonar and it makes it easy to identify fish. Another feature of fish reveal is that it eliminates the need to have your 2D sonar right next to your down scan image. So you actually have these images overlaid and the, the 2D sonar is filtered and it looks great and you no longer have to have the extra screen space for that. So now you have these already overlaid and you can put up a map or you can have a side, some side scan going on or whatever else you would like to have. It just frees up that real estate on your screen. The second reason you should buy a hook reveal is that it is very cost effective. Now that's a different way of saying it's cheap, but it's cost effective because I think this is a solid piece of equipment. It comes in three sizes, the five, the seven, and the nine inch versions. The five inch only comes in the split shot, which means it has the down scan, but not the side scan. The seven inch comes in both the down scan and triple shot, which means it has both the side scan and down scan. And the nine inch comes only with the triple shot. So as far as prices goes, let's see, I kind of wrote down here, uh, the five inch with the split shot, which is the only way it comes in, is $300. The seven inch split shot is $400. The trip with the triple shot, it is $500. And then the nine inch only comes in one version with the triple shot and it is $800. So overall, you can get a pretty good unit for $500 with the triple shot and the seven inch unit. And you're gonna be doing yourself a pretty good business as far as being able to find structure and finding fish on that structure. The third reason you should be buying a hook reveal is that it has a GPS system. Now, that may not seem like a big deal nowadays, but it used to be a big deal when you wanted to put in a waypoint or remember a spot on a lake and you didn't have a GPS system on your fish finder. Now it's extremely convenient for almost most fish finders, not all of them. So while well, it's important for this guy, even at the low, low cost point, you still get a GPS system and you can mark waypoints, trails, and that kind of thing. And on top of being able to do the waypoints and stuff, you can still purchase high quality maps and input them into the hook reveal and have really high quality maps on your device. Even if you can't find a high quality map for your lake, it does even support Genesis, which is a 
method for you to create your own maps on your own lakes. So if you have a, a small lake that's maybe it's not covered on some of the Navionics or the sea maps, uh, you can make your own map using Genesis. I do just want to say that these uh, reasons were not put in any particular order. That's just kind of the order I put them in. The fourth reason here is that it is easy to install and it's easy to use. So quickly go over this. Really all you got to do is mount the transducer, mount the head unit, route the transducer wire up to the head unit, plug it in, find a power source for the head unit. Usually you drive that all the way back to your battery and have a fuse, wire it up, and you simply plug it in and you are ready to go. So a real easy installation. You don't have a whole lot of setup as far as, hey, updates and having to do networking and that kind of thing. Don't have anything to do with that. You just plug and play. Also, if you're worried about how to tune your sonar and trying to get the best quality image possible, well, that's not quite necessary with the hook reveal. It does have an auto tuning feature, which I've used on the Elite Ti. And it does a pretty good job of giving you a high quality image. Sometimes I like to tweak it a little bit depending on my lakes. Uh, I do have a lake that has a soft bottom and then every now and then you're gonna get into some really hard bottom areas. I usually have to tweak it around there. But overall, it does a really good job of providing you a really good image. Lastly, but not least, the Solar Max display is a reason that you should definitely consider buying a hook reveal. The Solar Max display just reduces the amount of glare on the screen when you're out in the daylight and fishing. It does provide a really good image even with the sun behind you shining on your screen. You may want to, you know, put a hand or something in front of it, but it does do a pretty good job. Uh, I have a similar screen on my Elite Ti and it does a pretty good job for me as well. Okay, now time to get to the little more negative part of this video and it is the three reasons you probably shouldn't buy the hook reveal and if these don't apply to you then i think you should be leaning toward buying it but let's talk about these reasons the first reason is that it has no networking capabilities so that means you may have one at the console and one at the bow but they're not going to be able to communicate with one another like sharing waypoints or sharing maps you're not going to be do able to do any of that now, however, you can download your waypoints and stuff to a, a card and then transfer them and, and all that. But if you're scanning over something and you find a unique spot and you, and you map it and then you want to get at the Trello motor and find it real quick, you're not going to be able to do that with this guy. That also means there's no using it with a ghost Trello motor. So if you were hoping to use the hook reveal, to connect to a ghost Trello motor, and eh, this probably isn't the guy for you. You should probably step up to the current Elite FS at least to get that function. And lastly, if you're thinking about getting a live sonar system for the Lorentz unit, uh, right now it's called Active Target. Um, I have a video about it. I'll put it up in the cards above right here. But if you're thinking about doing that someday, well, this is definitely not the unit for you because it is not supported on the hook reveal. The next reason you may not want to buy a hook reveal is that the resolution will leave you lacking a little bit. It is an 800 by 480 screen, so it's, it doesn't have that many pixels. So on the larger screens, the 9 inch, you may notice some pixelation. But overall, don't be too scared of this. It's still gonna provide you a quality image and you're gonna be able to tell the difference most of the time between a rock and a fish. So don't worry too much about it, but if you're looking at high details and you're trying to differentiate between a rock and just a handful of bait fish or something, you may have some issues doing that. Maybe even on the side scan, uh, trying to determine whether there's a fish above right on top of the bottom or just slightly above it and it doesn't leave a huge shadow you may have issues seeing that but overall it's still going to provide you a really good image and the last reason that i think you may not want to buy a hook reveal is that it does not have a touch screen i personally feel that touch screens make electronics more intuitive and easier to use and this guy doesn't have one so I think maybe moving up to Elite FS where you can touch the screen 
and be able to do some functions there. I think that's a huge benefit of moving up. But if a touch screen isn't that important to you, then hey, this guy is probably a great deal for you. Hey, let me know in the comments below whether or not you're gonna be buying the hook reveal or you're thinking about purchasing a different unit and tell me why. I'm kind of curious to see exactly what you guys think about the hook reveal and whether or not it is a good unit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. But just like always, until next time guys, get out there and go catch you some fish.